Hi there, it is Emily with E Squared Photography. Erin is not here, but it doesn't matter. I am super excited to talk about this video today and go through this video with you today. Today, I'm going to talk all about the new Imagine software. Well, not so new anywhere, anymore, but they do have some new updates. And Imagine is an AI editing software that includes lots of great things for photographers to help speed up our editing process, which we know during busy season can take a lot of time. So today I'm gonna to talk about that and kind of walk you through a little bit about what Imagine can do for you. And if you don't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications of future videos. And if you stick around until the end today, I'm going to tell you how you can get your hands on 1500 free edits through Imagine, uh, which is going to be so huge and a game changer for you. And my hope by the end of this video is to help you understand what Imagine can do for you and just show you how simple it actually is to use and how you can start using it right away today. Okay, so in a little bit, I'm gonna jump in and show my screen, but I just wanna talk about a few things first before I show my screen. So one of the first things I wanna to touch base on is Imagine can do editing for you. That's the biggest thing it's known for, obviously. But right now, they have three different ways you can use their editing software. Before they just had two, and now they have a third coming out gradually, and it is a huge one. So I'm gonna talk about all three um, in the video and a little bit now um, to see which one really suits you well. So the first way you can use Imagine with editing is it can analyze your previous photo edits to create your own personal AI profile. You can then apply the profile to your Lightroom catalog. So this is what we have done and we've done the most. So what we did originally was we uploaded 3,000, they want 3,000 images. Um, they can be in multiple Lightroom galleries, they can just be in one Lightroom gallery, whatever it is. Images that you really like the edit you've done to, you can upload that to Imagine. Imagine looks at it and analyzes, and then it tries to match that on future catalogs you upload to their software to try to match your edit. And I will tell you right now, I think it does a better job than we would do ourselves, which is unbelievable. It is amazing. So that's the first way you can use Imagine to edit. The second way is Imagine has its own AI profiles for you to use and apply to your Lightroom gal gallery. So they call them talent profiles. There's a variety of them. You can play around and figure out which one really suits you and try to apply it to your raw images inside of Lightroom to see what you think, which is kind of cool. You can also compare and see which one you like better. You can tweak them to make them your own and then re-upload your um, Lightroom gallery so then it starts to learn what you really like as well. Now, the one they are rolling out which we are so excited for is Imagine allows you to upload your own preset to use. So specifically for us, we have started to kind of try to create a preset for our dramatic sports photos that we're starting to do. Um, and we can upload that specific preset to Imagine. We don't have to upload any previous edits at all. And Imagine is gonna take that preset and ask us a few questions and then it's going to attempt to apply those to our dramatic sports photos because we're gonna edit our dramatic sports photos quite a bit different than we're gonna edit our natural light portraits that we're doing. So we're super excited about that and we can see how that would be really beneficial to a lot of photographers, especially if you don't wanna waste the time of finding 3000 images to upload and you already have a preset that you love to use. And again, like I said, make sure to stick around because we are going to have 1500 free edits for you from Imagine. And I just wanna quickly touch base on a few other things that Imagine can do and then I'm gonna jump in and show you the computer kind of what it all looks like. So the first thing it can do is it's not only going to edit for you, but you can pay very little. It is extremely cheap, reasonably priced. You can pay for it to cull right now, which is cool. We've never done the culling, but you can pay for it to cull for you. You can pay for it to crop, straighten, subject mask, and more. So you can mask the whole subject and get the subject to pop. Um, one thing we do on all of them is we have them straightened and, straightened and cropped. 
Um, the straightened one is huge because then we don't have to think about that at all. If we have them crop and there's something just a little bit off, we can quick fix that, not even having to worry about the straighten. It does a really, really good job with that. And the biggest advantage to using Imagine that we have found is how quick it is. We literally can upload our Lightroom gallery full of raw images to Imagine, walk away, fold the laundry, come back, and our gallery is done. And then we can go in and tweak. And one last thing that they have come out with, which I'm gonna talk a little bit to when I jump in, but you have, they are now rolling out one terabyte of cloud storage. When you sign up, you get the one terabyte of cloud storage. Cloud storage um, is part of your sign up and you can um, get access to the cloud base where you can then download either low or high resolution photos, depending on what you choose of your gallery. And that's kind of a nice relief for photographers just in case um, you have failure in other spots where you're backing up these images. It is a really nice um, feature that they have come out with. Okay, so let's jump in and show you some behind the scenes of how this all works. If imagine you, it is very easy to use, like they give you the step-by-step -step stuff, which is super nice. Um, but there are a few different options, really three different options as far as how you want to use it for editing. The first thing you can do is you can go to, you go here to when you get into your account or whatever and create your account, you're going to go to AI profiles and you're going to go to create your own profile. And you have a couple of options here and I'm under the personal AI profiles. So option one, the one that they're saying is recommended right now. And the other one's beta and beta. Um, the recommended one is you're going to create an AI with 3000 photos from your Lightroom catalog. So you could have a variety of Lightroom catalogs that you have images you really, really like, and you can upload those catalogs for imagine to use and analyze and create your own little profile of, of an edit type for you. Um, now, some people don't have 3000 images or just want to get started really quickly. The other option, which is in beta, which we have started to try to use as well, is it's called a light personal AI profile. And you can upload your preset um, and answer. Um, there's a little short survey of questions saying, what do you like better? Do you like warmer, cooler, uh, more exposed, less exposed, whatever, a variety of questions that you're gonna answer. And it's going to create a profile boom right away off of that preset that you upload. So I'm just gonna show you an example here. So if I were to upload, if I were to click the light personal one, um, I'm just gonna do like test um, or whatever. And then I would cr go here and I would go to my presets and which I can't move this because it's gonna get out of your way, but I can drag in, for example, my dramatic sports preset that we've created. And then you're gonna go through and hit next and then it's going to ask you these questions and then it's going to create it and then it's going to instantly be ready to use without having to upload the 3000 photos so those are the two options two of the three options you can upload your own 3000 that you've already edited and tweaked and you really really love or you can use some sort of preset to upload and start right away the other option is if you come up here to personal AI profile and you go to talent AI profile, there are a variety of AI profiles already in here for you to use to edit. So again, you don't have to upload your own. You can use any of these. And the really nice thing too is let's say I want to use the natural feels one. You can apply this to your gallery and then Lightroom Gallery, and then you can make the tweaks inside of Lightroom and then re-upload it. And it's gonna, and, and Imagine is gonna continue to learn your little tweaks that you're making and start making those changes in the future. So you always wanna make sure to re-upload your gallery once you're done editing. You can also compare these, um, compare the styles. So I could compare a few different ones to see how they're um, going to look different on different images um, to see what one kind of suits the style that I want to go for. So it's very, very cool how you can do that. So yeah, there are three different ways to do AI profiles. Another really cool thing that Imagine 
has come out with is it does um, have one terabyte of cloud storage included when you sign up. Um, so you can um, be saving images to the cloud, which is super, super nice. You can do higher resolution ones. You can do lower resolution ones. You can kind of pick and choose what you want to do with those, um, but it is super, super handy. Show you a little sample of how this all works and how we go about doing this. So we import images, raw images into a Lightroom gallery. And then once they're imported, we actually are going to exit out of that Lightroom gallery. And then we are gonna open up Imagine and we're gonna to go to Project and we're gonna to go to Create New Project. And when you go to Create New Project, you can either choose to call and edit your photos or just edit your photos. And in between each, you're gonna have, you're gonna be able to review and see how they did. We always just go straight to edit because we call beforehand, but that's okay. You can do either. This is in beta, it's worth a try. We haven't tried it yet, um, but it could be super powerful. So we're gonna go to edit photos. It's gonna ask you which type of photos will be the most common so it can help analyze those. We are gonna say portraits. And then it's gonna have you find your Lightroom gallery and upload it. And so when I go to my Lightroom gallery, it automatically, the most recent one that I've worked with, is going to pop towards the top, which is super nice. So I'm gonna click that. And then it's gonna have you name the project. And I'm just gonna name this test edits. Um, and then choose an AI profile. So I'm gonna go here and right now we have um, with the 3,000 uploads, we've created our E-squared edits. Um, and then this one is one of those AI lights where we uploaded our dramatic sports preset to start using. But for this one, it's just um, normal portraits. So I'm gonna go to E-squared edits. And then down here, um, you can choose to have it help crop. Um, AI crop for you and straighten for you. Highly suggest doing both of those. Um, they work wonderful um, and it saves you, especially with straightening, it saves you a lot of time because if you're a little bit like us and don't shoot perfect all the time, that's really nice. You can also do subject mask um, and it automatically selects the subject and you can apply local adjustments. But we just do those two typically, um, but I can see how this could be super powerful to help your subjects, to apply a subject mask on all of them to, a, to help your subjects pop. Um, so that's definitely something to look into. Um, and then you can, there's a lot of different things you can choose. You can say you only want the, on, want the ones edited that are five star rated or labeled or flagged or whatever it might be. But anyway, we are just going to do all of them. So that's all good there. And then I'm going to come over here and there are 19 images in there and they have to be raw. They can't be already edited. And I'm going to click there. And then as I click there, it's gonna tell me how much it's going to cost me. So for these 19 images to crop and straighten and edit, it's going to be $1.33, insane. Okay, so then I'm going to click upload and it's going to take some time here and it's just going to upload the photo. Um, you can see it making progress up here as it's uploading. So it's six out of seven out of 19 and it's gonna continue to go through that and then once this part is done and it's telling me it has 27 seconds left once this part is done then it's going to start the editing process so there now it's at a hundred percent i'm just going to minimize this get this out of the way and now here here's my here's my projects that i have so here's my test edits and it's on the editing. It's showing that it's editing right now. So it's gonna to continue to circle until it's done. And then once it's done, it's going to let me download them to review them. And I will show you that part, but this should not take much longer um, to do this at all, which is the amazing part. So at this point, you can walk away, throw a load of laundry in, whatever you need to do, come back and it'll be ready for you. So now the edit is done and now it's time to review. So I'm going to go to download to review, download edits, continue, and it's going to let me open the Lightroom gallery back up. And all of the edits are going to be applied. 
So if I now go into my develop module here, here is the before and here is the after with all of the settings over here, which is amazing. Um, and I can just go and I can see all of the edits, which you can see is amazing the way it edited um, to what to what we want. And then we can go in, obviously, um, the crop isn't perfect here, uh, but we can go in, we don't want our vehicle or the stepladder, so we can go in and crop in big time with that as well. So super, super nice, it saves you. And the nice thing is with this is it saves you a lot of time in correctly exposing if you're gonna copy and paste stuff into different um, settings or different images from image to image. It saves you that exposure difference that might vary with images. And then when I'm all done with my edits, when I'm all done with my edits, I can go back up here to my test edits in my little project um, workflow here and I can go to upload final edits. So it'll up re-upload the Lightroom gallery and um, then any little minor changes I change it, changed as far as contrast, temperature, exposure, whatever it might be, Imagine's going to analyze that and help make the next one even better for that. So it's super, super slick. That is really cool and new with Imagine is that now you, it has a cloud storage system. So as you're uploading your gallery, it's saving them to the cloud. Um, you can have it save as high, for high, high resolution photos that you can then download later and low resolution. It automatically does the low resolution and then you can do the high, you get one terabyte free with it. And then if you want, you can go to download. Um, if you need to go back in and you somehow lost them on your device or whatever, you can get them right here and it's gonna download those images for you, which is quite amazing that you have that um, option and then you just open the folder. So that's one other thing that I wanted to mention. Okay, so hopefully that behind the scenes there was helpful in figuring out what you could do and how you could use Imagine. And one thing to really remember is with Imagine, you are always in control you can review the results in Lightroom and tweak them. And Imagine will continue to learn and evolve with you. And we've noticed that. We've noticed every single gallery as we continue to upload them gets better and better and better and more accurate to what we're looking for. And it is outstanding. Okay, so like I said, if you want 1500 free edits, you don't have to enter any credit card information whatsoever, and you wanna give Imagine a try, go ahead and look at the link in the description below and you can get started with those 1500 free edits today and see how it all works. Trust me, you're going to love it. You're gonna become obsessed just like we are. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, follow us on Instagram at esquared.photography for more behind the scenes and educational videos there as well.